Hello everyone, I am Dr. Nirbala Agarwal from Juhi Fertility Center, Sheikh Pet, Hyderabad. Today we are going to talk about the importance of egg quality in IVF. As we all know, when we do IVF, we need multiple eggs. Unlike natural cycle, wherein one egg is required, when we do IVF, we need multiple eggs. So here, not only the quantity as well as quality, both are important. And as we know, women are born with fixed number of eggs. So when in utero, uh, the eggs are around say 4 million, at puberty, they are left with 4 lakhs. And then every month, uh, they are about 15, 20 are recruited, only one is developed. So by the end of, by the age of 35 years, they have only few thousands which are left. So what we advise all our patients is, age is a very, very important factor uh, to decide the number of eggs as well as the quality of the eggs. Because what happens as a woman ages, uh, the mitochondrial content in the egg it decreases drastically and that is the main powerhouse of the egg so once the mitochondrial content decreases the egg uh, the dividing capacity of the egg and the developing capacity of the egg comes down drastically so it's better to finish our family before the age of 35 years so age is the most important determining factor for the quality as well as the quantity of the eggs now next comes your body weight the body weight should be neither too low nor too high if it is very low below below 18 bmi or above 30 bmi the results are, are not good it affects the quality of the eggs and then the third most important is the lifestyle so if you in, if suppose somebody indulges in smoking alcohol lot of caffeine and hookah these are the things which are going to hamper the quality of the egg and then the fourth is stress because stress at any level if you have like um, why i'm unable to conceive lot of stress this will also affect the quality of the egg and then the fifth is if you have some pre-existing disorders like your polycystic ovaries it's quite common so in pco and then uh, you have a lot of eggs but then the quality of the egg is it's it's not that good so these are the patients they need certain pre ivf medication to improve the quality of the egg like you can give them metformin you can give them uh myonositol dichironositol these are the drugs and then our laparoscopic over end drilling or we can give them some anti-androgens to improve the quality of the egg and then next comes if they have any endometriosis endometriosis is in endometriosis you have a constant chronic inflammation in the ovary and that interferes with the quality of the egg so we have to see to it that uh, the, if suppose there are big cysts we have to remove them laparoscopically or we have to give put them on certain medicines to control it and then plan for the IVF and uh, then the next is vitamin deficiencies so when we do the pre ivf investigation if they have uh, severe anemia or if they have a very low protein or if they have uh, low vitamin d b12 or uh, so these are the patients the quality because this affects all the body cells equally as well as your excel also so we have to correct all these deficiencies before we start ivf so these are the things which will interfere with your quality of the eggs and then uh, last but not the least is genetics like uh, if suppose somebody has a really poor quality of the eggs then we have to go for their chromosomal study and look for any translocation defects or any num 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 numerological defects like any Turner syndrome or any other thing which will result in a premature ovarian failure so if suppose uh, there are they have any fragile X mutation so these are the chromosomal reasons or genetic reasons for the low ovarian reserve and uh, this is detected mainly if, when you do the AMH level if you find that it is very low below 0.5 so these are the poor ovarian reserve patients so wherein both the quality as well as the quantity is poor so these are the reasons why the quality is poor and if suppose they have any thyroid disorders like hypothyroidism hyperthyroidism even that can affect your quality of the eggs so whenever you are going for ivf you please thorough blood investigations to rule out all these factors and then you have to uh, go for the correction of the deficiencies and then avoid stress and then improve your lifestyle and if you have any pre-existing disorders please treat the disorders and if suppose you had uh, in the past tuberculosis, tubal block or hydrosalpings, go for laparoscopy and delinking or clipping of the tubes or salpingectomy. So with all these steps, we can definitely improve the egg quality and the IVF results. Thank you so much.